So Zillow just released another ASI Air, and this one got shrunk. This is the ASI Air Mini, which was designed for the traveling astrophotographer. Coming in at 163 grams, it's a little bit lighter than the ASI Air Plus, which comes in at 210 grams with the antenna attached. Now where this makes the difference is the size, which is perfect for packing up in your chosen method of hauling your gear, and it's even better if you're somebody who likes to travel a lot. The dimensions on the ASI Air Mini are 78 by 52 millimeters, whereas the ASI Air Plus comes in at 100 by 70 millimeters. So it is pretty much half the size of the full size plus. Now this shrunken ASI Air comes in at 200 US dollars at the time of recording and release. Other than the size, the ASI Air Mini has a few key differences. First we'll go over a few things that are missing. And the first thing that is missing is a power switch. There is no power switch, you just plug it in to turn it on. Now there's also no ethernet port on this ASI Air, which means if you'd like to use a repeater for your home Wi-Fi, that's not gonna be an option with this. You'll have to actually connect it to your home Wi-Fi and have a repeater close to the ASI Air to get that signal repeated back. And the third thing that is not with this ASI Air is a slot for an SD card. It is just eMMC storage or using a thumb drive, which is the method I recommend. Now there are a few things that are still there on this ASI Air. For example, on the top of the ASI Air is still the ASI Air logo that looks exactly like the one that was on the ASI Air Plus, just shrunken down a little bit. And on the bottom is the finder shoe mount. Now there are still four power ports on this ASI Air but two of them are on one side and two of them are on the other. Now accompanying those power ports on either side, one has the USB-C slot for transferring off the eMMC storage, the other side has the DSLR shutter release cable port. On the side with the antenna, this is also where you plug in your ASIR where the reset button is, and where your indicators for power system and Wi-Fi are located as well. And on the final side is the USB plugs. Now this one kind of baffled me just a little bit with a new device in 2022, but it's using USB 2.0 slots. I would have figured that they would have gone with USB 3.0 slots just to future proof a little bit, but hey, that's what they chose. So it's four USB 2.0 slots. Now, when it comes to the app specifically for the ASI Air Mini, the only change that is in there is that you cannot monitor your power like you could with the ASI Air Plus. So if you're plugging in stuff onto all four ports, you're gonna have to be mindful and do a little bit of math to make sure you're not overpowering the ASI Air Mini. This one still has the same recommended keep it below six volts that the ASI Air Plus did. So if you're using dew heaters, you're, you're powering your mount and your camera and the EAF and all that stuff, you're gonna have to balance it out with another device such as a Pegasus power box because you don't have a way to monitor it. Other than that, there's no real changes specifically for the ASI Air Mini. There was a huge release for the app recently and we're gonna go over that in another video because the app is now on version 2.0 and there's a lot of features to go over with that. And speaking of the app, the question of the day is, since we're gonna be going over the app here in another video, if you haven't looked into the changes with the ASI Air app, what feature are you looking forward to? What do you wish that they would add? Of course, one of the biggest things that is a question, because this is a camera controlling device, are there any compatibility changes? And the answer for DSLRs is no. All of the DSLRs that were on the previous list are still on this list. And if you're a Nikon user, you will have to use the shutter release cable if your model requires it. And unfortunately, there is no new brands added such as Pentax or Fuji or anything like that. So Pentax, Fuji, Sony users, you still won't be able to use the ASI Air. But if you use a Canon or a Nikon, then you're pretty much good to go. For Zewo specific cameras though, the ASI 6200, you're not gonna be able to live stack using that camera, but you can do other functions such as take a normal deep sky photo. And the oldest cameras in the bunch that weren't compatible with the ASI Air Plus are also not compatible with the Mini. And real quick, what's in the box? We well, got the ASI Air Mini itself, the antenna, a few power cables and an extension, and a handy dandy little quick start guide, just like what comes with the ASI Air Plus. There is no thumb drive, so you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you provide your own. Now, one question that you're probably asking is, is this worth getting? Now, after playing around with it a little bit, if you don't already have an ASI Air at all, and you were trying to save a few bucks, because this is $100 cheaper than the ASI Air Plus, it's a good option. But if you're not worried about the budget, I would say go with the Plus because there's a little bit more features that you have 
with that, such as the power monitoring. And if you have the original ASI Air, this is still a step up from that version. So if you're still using version one of the ASI Air, because of the features that the Mini can support, such as video mode and planetary stacking, this is a good option. But if you already have an ASI Air Plus or an ASI Air Pro, it's basically the same thing, just a smaller version of it. So I wouldn't really recommend it if you already have one, but if you're looking to add to what you have for cheaper, then yeah, it's it's a pretty good option for you. All in all, this is a good little device. And in an upcoming video, we're gonna put this to the test with the mini versus the plus versus the pro on just the Wi-Fi range of the device itself. We're not gonna include home Wi-Fi in this equation at all, but what I'm gonna do is a little bit of a distance test with all three. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I wanna thank you for watching. Clear skies.